I recently came across a really cool platform called Kittle Flows, which allows you to generate content and explore design directions using AI. In this video, let me show you how to turn any idea into endless variations by using text prompts, or in my particular case, create mock-up assets for a case study for a fictional sushi brand. Let's jump in and see how Kittle Flows works. Kittle has hundreds of templates to choose from in its catalog, including Flows templates to draw inspiration from. Simply click Templates, then scroll to the Kittle Flows section to choose one of the templates to get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to start a project from a logo that I created. On my screen, I have a simple type logo for a fictional company called Spicy Sushi. I'd like to use it across branding and marketing applications so I can build out a case study for this logo project. With Kittle Flows, you can use text prompts to build out smart boards based on your initial logo design. Let me show you how it works. First, I'll click on the artboard with my Spicy Sushi logo. And to the right of the artboard, you can add a smart board by hovering and clicking this arrow to the right. Alternatively, in the right side menu, you can click Add Smart Board to add it to your project. You can see that displays the prompt box where I can now add my text to generate my first mock-up. I'll click inside of the prompt box and add my text prompt. Now in this case, I want to create a realistic cardboard packaging box mock-up featuring the spicy sushi logo and filled with an assortment of sushi rolls. I've added some other key descriptors in this text prompt and you can even use color codes from your brand which will carry through to your result. Here you can also choose an aspect ratio and the quality of your result. In this case, I'll leave it on high and then I'll simply click generate to see what the outcome is. You can see that it generates a really cool result and touches on all the points from my text prompt. It also does a really good job at using the logo on the packaging. I'm happy with this result, so I'm gonna go ahead and create another smart board for a different text prompt. To do that, I'll click on my original artboard and add another smart board. You can see that it adds it underneath my initial smart board. I'll once again add my prompt to the prompt box, and in this case, I wanna capture an exterior shot of a modern sushi restaurant featuring a matte black sign with a clearly visible logo complemented by green plants and minimal stylish outdoor furniture. Again, I've added some extra details here. If you wanted to further refine and expand on this prompt, you can click on this button here to enhance the prompt and it will enhance your initial text prompt for stronger results. Again, choose your aspect ratio. I'll leave it on one by one with the quality being high and I'll click generate again to see what my next result will be. And wow, look at that. Once again, Kittle's AI generates a stunning result that aligns with my text prompt and overall spicy sushi brand. If I zoom out, you also have some controls at the bottom of the page where you can zoom out to get a better view of the project. You can see I have my initial logo, I have the image of the branded spicy sushi packaging and sushi rolls inside the box. And then I have this stunning image of an exterior scene of a modern restaurant with the spicy sushi signage. Let's keep expanding on this. Again, let's click on the main artboard and in the right side menu, let's click add smart board to add yet another smart board. By the way, if you wanted to readjust these smart boards, it's just a matter of dragging and placing it where you want. So to keep things tidy, you can actually drag them and do two rows. That's what I'll do here. I'll do two rows just like this. Now I can zoom in a little bit more and I'm going to paste in my next prompt. And in this case, I wanna add some people to my branding slash marketing campaign here. So I wanna visualize sushi makers diligently working behind a clean white subway tile and glass sushi bar. I want them to be wearing branded spicy sushi aprons and visor hats. I've also added brand colors and other key descriptors to this prompt. You can see the other details there. Again, to remain consistent, I'll leave it on one by one aspect ratio with the quality being high and click generate to see what my next result will be. Look at that amazing detail in the people and the surroundings. I asked it to create a subway tile wall and it honored that. I also asked it to place a menu behind the workers with the prices and menu items and it's also done that. 
And to keep with the brand consistency, it's pulling from the colors that I've added to the text prompt. Are you enjoying Kittle Flow so far? Well, I have great news. For a limited time, new users can use code AngeloYT at checkout to get 25% off all Kittle plans. Click the link in the description below to learn more. Now, back to the tutorial. I'm going to add one last smart board by clicking the main artboard again, and we're going to choose add smart board. I'm going to just drag it up and line it up with this bottom version. So now I have my four results here. And in this case, I'm going to paste my last text prompt. And the cool thing with Kittle Flows is it allows you to use language for style and composition. For example, I wanna capture a top-down angle shot of takeaway sushi boxes arranged on a colored background that uses the branded color code. Again, I have some other details here. The boxes contain three sushi items, a California roll, veggie roll, and sashimi roll, each displayed with high quality presentation. The top side of the packaging features sleek white typography. You can see the more descriptive you are, the better result you'll get. I'll keep the aspect ratio, once again, one by one, high quality. Click generate to see the result. And look at that, you can see it once again produces a stunning result with all the details and textures from the text prompt. It honored the typeface up here, not so much down below. You can also see it does a great job adding the sushi rolls around the packaging for presentation. Again, if you're not happy, let's generate again to see what the next result will be. I do like this version a little bit better, so I'll go ahead and stick with it. You can keep going and building more smart boards, and once your project is finished, there are a few options to export the content. In the upper right hand corner, click the export button. This will give you some options to export all artboards or choose the range of artboards that you want. In this case, I'll leave it on all artboards. You could set your width and height in inches, pixels, or millimeters. I'll go ahead and leave it on inches. You could choose the content type. Here you have options for PNG, JPEG, SVG, and a PDF. In this case, I think I'll choose JPEG. You also have the option to remove the background and optimize the quality. Once you have all those settings in place, go ahead and hit download, and this will download a zip folder with all your content from your smart boards. I can open up the folder with all the content from my Kittle Flows project, and you can see there's my initial logo for Spicy Sushi and all the content that I generated using Kittle Flows. Thanks for watching, and I hope you can apply some of these tips and tricks to your own Kittle Flows projects. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest tutorial content. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.